One of the most popular lakes people explore in the interior of Iceland holds a deadly secret. Despite the fact that thousands of people visit Lake Askia every year, few people know that it has killed more people than the combined total of 26 of Iceland's active volcanoes. These deaths, while only totaling two, all occurred due to people being trapped by a deadly hazard below the volcano's 1875 caldera rim, which they had absolutely no chance of escaping. Such a scenario may have occurred in 1907 when German scientists Max Rudloff and Walter von Knobel headed out to explore the Askia volcano as they were quite interested in observing the thick eruption deposits and scenery created by such a catastrophic eruption in a fairly remote area only 32 years earlier. Finally, reaching the largely water-filled 5,500-meter-wide depression in the ground that formed in Askia's 1875 eruption, they descended below the recent caldera rim and got into a boat to further explore the landscape. Then, all contact was lost. When a search was organized after they never returned, it failed to ever find their bodies, and it became a mystery of how they got killed. That was until 2014 when a possible repeat of some of 1907's events occurred, as for a several year period preceding July of 2014, a large mass of rock on their relevant caldera's unusually steep southeastern corner had been slowly creeping forwards. Then, in 2013, large cracks began appearing parallel to the caldera wall. Finally, at 10.52 p.m. local time on July 21st of 2014, this section of the wall began progressively creating an increased amount of tremor. This tremor subsequently decreased, but then, at 11.24 p.m. local time, a tremendous mass of rock 850 meters or 2,789 feet in length and 640 meters in width slid to the northwest as a singular body of material. Impacting the lake at speeds exceeding 80 kilometers per hour, the rock displaced large amounts of water and created a distinctive crashing sound. This pushed the cold lake water upwards, causing it to create a massive wave. Over the next several minutes, this massive wave crashed against the caldera's shoreline, rising between 30 and 215 feet above the lake level, depositing large amounts of rock over a wide area. As the lake water sloshed back and forth for some time, kind of like in a small bathtub, smaller waves continued to crash into its shorelines repeatedly. By the time this landslide had ended, the 27 million meters of displaced rock had largely been moved to the lake's bottom, causing its lake level to rise by a little over a meter. And at the site of the collapse, what was left behind was a 50 meter or 164 foot deep depression in the ground. Luckily, no one was harmed by this potentially deadly landslide as it occurred 25 minutes after the sun had set, so few people were in the vicinity and no one was below the 1875 caldera rim at the time. Had anyone been below this steep rim, which is between 200 and 1300 feet tall and is fairly difficult to climb due to its height, there would not have been sufficient time to escape the tsunami. The reason this landslide occurred was not due to a volcanic eruption, but rather due to what is known as hydrothermal alteration. In other words, hydrothermal fluids heated at depth by magma progressed upwards over a period of time, breeding along significant amounts of various elements. This over time replaced large amounts of hard rock such as rhyolite with brittle clay minerals. Once enough of a slope had been replaced with brittle clay, it became unable to hold the massive material above it, so it slid away in a large landslide. This section had a known grouping of fumaroles further supporting this hypothesis. However, this same sector of the caldera is still potentially unstable. While only two landslides have potentially occurred during a 148 year period, this is only known or suspected landslides. Thus, in my opinion, I am making the recommendation that no one ever go below the 1875 caldera rim of Askia unless my concerns about potential landslide risk are proven to be unwarranted, as the potential does exist that the 1907 disappearances were not landslide related and thus the 2014 slide may have simply been a one-off event. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.